uh, who says this job is dull. When I'm at the L'Oreal Academy today for the Luminato project called A Thousand Females, our very own Veronica Chale is a part of this project. She's going to have her picture taken by an award-winning photographer, so she invited us along to have a look. Let's go. Toronto's Mille Femme is a tribute to 1,000 artistic, creative, and inspiring women from Toronto and their protégés, who represent the passion and diversity of the city. What a smile. Famed French artist Pierre Marival has turned his lens on 1,000 faces, women who have been chosen in recognition of their leadership and achievements in their field. So Pierre, it seems like a little bit of a daunting task, the 1,000 women photo shoot, but it also seems like something that could be a lot of fun. What is the thought process behind this project for you? It's a very simple idea. I'm trying to make portraits of uh, groups of people. I, I've been working a long time ago on individual portraits, and at one point I was thinking we are into a, an era of communication, and what links us to the other is more important than what we are individually. So um, I tried to work on big groups of people like that, and a thousand is my, my concept. And a thousand women is something I started in Paris 15 years ago already. So I'm excited to be here because of a lot of other females that are part of this project. It's very interesting to see so many people from different lights, but you're young in your career. What is it like for you to be a part of this project? I feel really honored. Uh, there's so many women from all walks of life and uh, many women who I look up to. So I think that's uh, something to be... I, I mean, you have to be humble about something like this, just because you're part of a showcase with a famed French photographer who can be intimidating when he's taking your picture, but when you're among these women, you just feel so honored, I think. That's the biggest thing. Each participant is asked to pick a word they would like their photograph to embody. So you picked the word distinct to describe yourself. What were some of the other words you toyed with? Uh, passionate, uh, imagination, Curious, because I just, I'm so curious about people, I want to know about things, I want to know how things work. Uh, and that's why Distinct, I think, works, because I am a journalist, I'm a reporter, I work in the media industry, uh, you know, I'm a TV host. I just, I think that I'm one person who has many thoughts, I think differently, I'm opinionated. Uh, but Distinct is, it, it kind of characterizes me, just like the other women. You've had the rare ability to do this project in several different places. Mm -hmm. What is Distinct about Toronto? Um, I think each project in each different place has got a different angle. So in Montreal, it was just a portrait of the city spirit. So it was women in Montreal. Here in Toronto, it's really about arts and what makes this art scene so vibrant. So that's the very different uh, angle here. And we go from very young students and very uh, up and coming, very young artists to renowned and um, respectable uh, figures. What, were your, what would your word be? Well, I chose <laughs> to the sweet. It means right away. Uh, I think it's kind of a mood thing. You know, this word is not supposed to be some, something too serious. It's all about how you feel about what you do. And I think I feel that there is an, a kind of emergency of doing what we do when we are in the arts. Like, it's for now or never. So, for me, it's for now. <laughs> From June 6th to June 15th, Luminato will take center stage in Toronto to embrace artistic collaborations in various ways, including the Mille Femme which will be revealing its final project. For more information, just hit up the website www.luminato.com.